Okay, I think we're ready to rock here. Uh, welcome everyone, my name is Eben, and uh, today uh, I'm going to be doing my usual Sunday live stream here. I actually don't, um, I don't really have any ideas uh, for what I want to do today, but it's been a while since I, since I really um, uh, got a nice finished piece done in this uh, two hour period here. So, okay, I'm going to probably turn my uh, monitor volume off here, here we go. Um, yeah, so uh, I think I'm just gonna sort of chill out here and uh, make a, maybe make a landscape or something with a, uh, some nice textures and um, chat with you guys a bit. So feel free to uh, to leave a comment and say hi and ask a question or uh, whatever you want. Uh, this is this is your time. Uh, this is our time to chat. So um, uh, yeah, and if you haven't uh, already, uh, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Uh, and uh, actually, I think just today we. Or, uh, within the past few days, we crossed 400 subscribers, which may not seem like a lot, but, um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's been cool just to see so many people sort of show up to, um, to, uh, whether they're artists or just art enthusiasts to, to watch these processes and to check out my videos and tutorials and all that stuff. So thank you guys so much, uh, for all the, uh, the, uh, support and, um, and attention you've been giving, uh, my, my work recently and, um, you know, you guys are awesome. So uh, let's uh, let's just jump into the painting here. Welcome, Jose. Nice to see you. Uh, yes, you have caught the uh, this the the golden hour when people are uh, still trickling in here. So um, actually, you know, since you've showed up early, I'll show you a little sneak peek of something I'm working on here. I actually have been. <coughs> I've been uh, creating my my debut uh, music album for uh, the past um, well basically since for the past year or so I've, it's been in development and then bef before that I was writing a lot of the material so I've been working on the album art um, and uh, I uh, I've just been messing around with the text I can't really um, uh, settle with something I I really um, am super comfortable with. Uh, I'll show you. There's some other variations here. This is another uh, possibility for the text. Um, so I don't know. I might just be overthinking it. I really need to sort of wrap this up so I can um, start working on uh, rewards for people uh, that ha that uh, contributed to the Kickstarter, um, which is uh, really phenomenal. Uh, by the way, really um, a lot of a lot of awesome people um, contributed to this project. So. Um, I don't know, if you have any thoughts, feel free to drop them my way. Um, and uh, anyway, let's let's move into um, what I'll be doing today, which I uh, don't really know what it is. Actually, uh, I should probably grab some water before I dive in here, so give me one second here. Hey there, uh, Kevin. Welcome. <clears throat> First time in your live recently. Got to find your awesome channel. Been really helpful to me, so thanks loads. Awesome. Gra uh, glad to hear that, Kevin. And uh, welcome to the live stream. This is just a, a fun opportunity for me to chat with you guys a bit and um, for you to just see some, uh, some live uh, painting action here. Um, I don't make any promises as far as uh, making anything are really mind-blowing here, but really this is just, um, uh, this is a good opportunity for me to chat with you guys and to answer any questions you have, um, about your painting process or about my artwork or, um, whatever it is you, uh, you want to know, or if you just want to chat a little bit about, um, your experience with, with painting or digital painting, you know, um, yeah, feel free to just, uh, leave a comment. I'm, I'm watching as I, as I go here. So I'm just, um, I'm starting out in my my usual uh, way 
uh, with this, I just love this brush so much. Um, I don't know why, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, by the way, you can, uh, this is from my, uh, my brush pack here. All of these brushes that I use are from my brush pack. You can find that in the, uh, link in the description below. Uh, I've been getting a lot of, uh, really great feedback about that on my website. Um, and, uh, so thank you to those of you who have already, um, already checked that out and have been using it. It's really cool. It's really, uh, pretty cool to see, uh, people posting artwork, um, on their Instagram or on the, uh, in the, uh, Facebook groups and that kind of stuff with, that they've made using, um, these brushes. So very cool. I'm actually, uh, working on a, uh, another video right now that I'll be releasing. Uh, I, I make a new video every Wednesday, but this one, uh, will be, um, sort of a, uh, a little sneak peek into a, a larger uh, tutorial experience um, that I'll be including on my website, so um, make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, let's see, Jose is saying something about the text follows the general flow of the illustration. Is it that? Yeah, I know. I, th I uh, Jose is talking about this um, Albert album artwork I was just showing here that I'm working on. Yeah, uh, it's, it's, um, you're totally right, and that's kind of where, where I have to make a decision. Do I want to make it look more, like, professional, or do I want to make it look a bit more synchronous with the, um, the artwork itself? And also, I think it's a bit more, um, I mean, I, I'd, I haven't shared, uh, the music yet that the album's still in progress, but I think it's a, it's a bit more fitting for the, um, the album. It's very kind of like, uh, I don't know what, what I would call it, um, like, uh, uh, I, had a, I had a term for it, it was like, dark ethereal country or something, <laughs> I don't know, um, I can't really f figure out a genre for it, because it's, it's, within the, the album there's a lot of, uh, variation, as far as genres go, but, um, yeah, it's pretty cool, it's, uh, it's a little bit psychedelic, um, but a little bit, uh, a little bit country, a little bit folk. There's some acoustic stuff in there, and then there's some more, uh, some more sort of explorative, jazzy stuff. So I'm pretty excited about it. I've been working on it for a long time. We've had a lot of, um, a lot of setbacks because of the pandemic. So it's been slower than uh, I had hoped. But um, you know, uh, I, you know, you can't rush it, and that's okay. It gives me more time to practice, to refine the parts, get everything right. So, uh, Kevin's asking, as a beginner, is it worth to get an iPad or Wacom slash Huon? Uh, it's pretty much enough. Um, yeah, so, that's a great question. Um, I'm actually, um, I'm actually thinking about doing a video on that because I actually just ordered a, a, a an iPad, uh, 2020, um, to replace the uh, the sort of old, I have a 2016 version that's just, uh, I got it used off of eBay and it's great and um, if you are, uh, if you are leaning towards the iPad, that's a great way to go. Go on eBay, find something used from like uh, 2016 or <clears throat> something like that. Um, I just have a few uh, issues with it as far, I mean it's a little beat up, there's some blips on the screen. Um, and uh, it's uh, it's kind of the battery is, is on its way out. So I figured, you know, it's Christmas. I'm gonna treat myself to something that's really gonna benefit my artwork. I've been doing a lot more work in uh, Procreate recently, uh, so um, that's uh, that's what I ended up doing. I ended up ordering a, a new 2020 version. So we'll see if it if it really makes much of a difference. But anyway, uh, as to your question, Kevin, um, I. <sighs> see I mean first of all uh, going with like a beginner like Wacom or Huon drawing tablet like the, the one I use it's a Huon uh, it's like I don't know I think it was like 70 or 80 dollars it wasn't a huge investment um, and uh, it was an upgrade from when I had before which just didn't have a pen tilt function so um, but uh, this one does have that, and um, 
Oh, hey there, uh, Manish. Welcome, and uh, happy Christmas to you as well. Um, uh, feel free to uh, drop any questions or comments here as I move through this, um, whatever this is. Uh, it's I, I intend it to be a landscape, but um, it has yet to really take that form. You've got a good solid base of uh, texture here now, so I'm probably going to move into um, articulating things a bit more clearly uh, with some some other uh, brushes here. Anyway, um, so yeah, the 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 Photoshop like uh, plugin, you know, drawing tablets. It's definitely going to be the cheaper option. I mean, you're looking at like a uh, a basic Photoshop script subscription for ten dollars a month. Uh, minimum, which really isn't bad. I mean, it's less than most people spend on, like, streaming services, uh, you know, like Netflix and all that stuff, so, um, and then, you know, if you're looking at, uh, like, 80 to $150 for, I mean, even less than that, you can get, like, a very beginner tablet for, like, 40 bucks, um, if you're really just trying to experiment and, um, and sort of mess around with, uh, with the medium, so very low upfront cost, um, you probably need a computer that's, you know, decent enough to to not uh, crash every time you try to work above 4,000 pixels wide. Um, but it's, you know, it's um, it's not that hard to find. I mean, most people already have a computer right like that. So, yeah, your upfront cost is going to be much lower uh, compared with even in, like a used iPad Pro 12.9-inch, uh, which I really wouldn't recommend anything less than the 12.9 inch for uh, for drawing and painting um, even like the lowest you're gonna get for a used one is um, probably like 350 400 um, I mean for one that's not like in pretty bad condition 400 to 450 I think I got mine for around 400 um, so that's your base cost then you um, then you can uh, by Procreate for just one payment of $10, which is cool, but that's just because, you know, the iPad itself is so expensive. Um, as a uh, art-making device, I kind of prefer the iPad, um, but I use both, and I think it's really good to know how to use both, and I use them both for, for different, uh, different applications. So, um, Procreate is just nice for like, or like working on the iPad, it's really nice for just sort of the end of the day, you know, kind of sitting down in a chair and just sort of kicking back and relaxing, doing some sketching, or even working on more like in-depth projects, but it's just a bit more, for me, it's just a bit more comfortable rather than like sitting at this big like intense workspace, and um, I don't really have the best, um, I, I'm working on finding like I don't know, I guess just sitting at a computer for me is never like the most comfortable place to make art. And um, then you're also, uh, you're also thinking about, um, you know, something to consider is, is just getting used to drawing on one surface and seeing it appear on the screen, uh, which is, is definitely a learning curve. I've gotten used to it and I keep my, my drawing tablet at a, like kind of like a 45 degree angle so it sort of mimics like a sketchbook but um, it's still um, you know I still prefer like drawing directly on a surface and to get um, a, a Photoshop tablet where you can do that that's where you're really shelling out the money that's you know that's then you're back in the the range of, of the iPad you know 400 500 2000 for these uh, bigger Wacom uh, tablets that you can draw on um, and even then I think their performance is just not the same like the iPad has a really solid performance um, it is a bit more limited in terms of what you can do with it um, but I've never found that to be too much of an issue uh, mostly with like the number of layers you can create but for me that <laughs> doesn't really matter because as you can see I, I really don't uh, use too many layers when I work um, so, yeah, I don't know, um, feel free to ask any other questions you, you want clarification on, um, but that's kind of my, my basic take, um, if you're, if you're new to digital painting, I would start out with, with something cheap, you know, you don't want to make a, 
a huge investment and then find out that you don't really like it. But um, yeah, I really like the iPad Pro. If you can get your hands on a used one and, and use Procreate, that's that's great. But also, um, if you're really uh, serious about digital painting, it's worth learning both, especially because like Photoshop is is um, sort of a uh, industry standard um, for a lot of work, and Procreate is is not from what I've gathered, considered to be quite as uh, professional, um, just because you are a bit more limited in what you can do with it. But I mean, plenty of fantastic artists create professional artwork on Procreate all the time. So it's, I don't think there's really any basis to that. So uh, let me just check out the comments here. As a junior artist, Jose saying, I've been using the same Wacom for five years. It's been more than enough for me. I do want to explore iPad just because I can take it wherever I want. I'm sure it'll help your creativity. Yeah, yeah, the that's that's one of the great things about the iPad that I'm actually missing out on right now because of uh, because of uh, COVID is um, just being able to travel with it and to be able to just set it up anywhere and quickly start sketching. I mean, that's part of the reason why I went with it the 2020 is because I want to do more plain air stuff. And with the, the older used iPad I have, the lumens output and the battery just aren't really suited for that. You know, you can't really, it's, you can sketch outside, but it's really hard to see and you're just going to burn through your battery really quick. So I'm, I'm sort of hoping the 2020 will, or, or from what I've heard, it, it does, uh, it's, it's much better for that. Um, but um, yeah, it's really nice to be able to just carry it around, just slide it in your in your bag and go to a coffee shop or something and just hang out there and, and work really quickly. Um, so yeah, uh, Jose's got a great point there. Yeah, um, let's see. Um, Manish, I'll, I, I'll get to your question in a minute here. Um, as far as what uh, Kevin's saying, um, getting used to drawing on the surface and looking at a screen, that took, I mean, I don't know when you started doing this, but that took me, um, I don't know, maybe like a month or two to really get used to that. And um, you have to sort of mess with it a little bit, you know, figure out like, like what I did with the, the drawing tablet. I set it up on my desk so it's at a slight angle. Um, so that can be helpful to sort of have it be closer to the angle of your screen uh, you know you can you can build your own or, or find some kind of prop you can use for that or some of the tablets come with with stands uh, that you can do that with um, so yeah give it a minute uh, because it once you once you get used to it, it's just like driving a car you know it becomes very intuitive and it's sort of the uh, the hand-eye coordination um, is not quite as uh, difficult to to pull off so uh, yeah, Manish, uh, any course or book you suggest to um, improve your concept art? Um, let's see. <laughs> so many. Um, I actually have not found anything in a book. I'm sure they're out there. Um, most of what I've used to learn um, uh, about making um, concept art and that kind of stuff has been from... Uh, YouTube videos from creators like uh, Tyler Edlin and Walid Fagali. I mean, I definitely recommend checking out Evident. Um, they, uh, Walid and 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 myself as uh, in the uh, design team. There's um, a lot of really great free resources available there, um, as well as uh, full courses you can check out. Um, there's also a lot of yeah free resources on YouTube from. Uh, creators, uh, yeah, like uh, I was saying, like Tyler Edlin, uh, Walid Fagali, Marco Bucci, uh, Stan Prokopenko, um, uh, Trent uh, Kaniuga. I think that's, I should really uh, uh, figure out exactly how, I think that's how you pronounce his name. I keep uh, forgetting to, to figure that out, but I, I check out his videos all the time. Um, he's, he's, he's a veteran of the, of the concept art industry. He really knows um, uh, what he's talking about there, and he has a nice uh, sort of tough love approach about it, which uh, can be really helpful for a lot of people. Um, and 
Yeah, a lot of free resources there. Um, I'm working on putting more uh, in-depth tutorials up on my website. I've got another one coming this week. Of course, I do new videos like this all the time. So, um, and uh, tutorials on my channel every Wednesday. So you can check those out as well. Um, uh, books, I mean, I recommend checking out. Um, they, you know, they tend to be um, pricier uh, because, but it's, it's totally worth the price is like finding, um, you know, concept art books from, you know, like films and video games from like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and, um, and, uh, any video games you're into, just, just, uh, you can look on Amazon or, you know, go to your local bookstore if you can, uh, cause they always have them there or, or they will often have those. It's like these beautiful, you know, full page, like, um, books of artwork. Um, I have one uh, of a Star Wars book. It's for the um, the Force Unleashed. Uh, or wait, not the that's that's the video game. Uh, the Force Awakens. Uh, the concept art for that, which um, you know, uh, it's just really amazing. I mean, these are like the top level concept artists, and it it does talk a lot about their their process as well and that kind of stuff. So uh, I re strongly recommend checking those out just for inspiration. I mean, it's not. Uh, direct uh, tutorials per se but um, it's uh, it's def you it's really um, worth your time to have a solid library of uh, artwork for inspiration Kenny yoga yeah yeah that's right I'm always uh, I, I'm always nervous that I'm pronouncing someone's name wrong <laughs> Or like that I, uh, I just, I have like this weird thing where, um, I guess not so much anymore. Cause I don't, I don't know, but like, I guess I haven't been meeting a lot of, of, uh, people in the, in the world recently just cause I've been, uh, in lockdown over here. But, um, you know, I just, I always have this thing where I feel like, like, even though I know what their name is, if I've just met them, like, even though I know what it is, I'm af like, I'm afraid to use it. Cause like I have this, uh. <laughs> I'm afraid that I might not get it right and like to call someone by their by something that isn't their name I feel like would be very embarrassing for me but I don't know I guess that used to be more of a thing I, I it's not something I really think about anymore I don't really know what's going on here but I'd love these colors are really fun um, I don't uh, I don't really know what's what's happening with them I don't really know what's happening in this painting at all. This is very, um, still very abstract, but, uh, it feels very alien, you know, like, these are not, um, these are not your, uh, your dad's foliage colors. Although, in terms of the overall composition, this is, um, this is a big mess. There's equal saturation everywhere. Um, I don't know, we'll see. I've got to start dialing this in a little bit just been talking hey there Inez nice to see you I'm just um, what am I doing here I don't know just mess around I guess creating a some kind of alien landscape. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that. It's going to be sort of foggy in some places, or I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe I should um, mess around with this foreground a bit more. Create some some grayness or something here. Maybe a uh, path going out. Oh, 
autumnal but speculative <laughs> an apt description from a uh, a literary wizard over there Oh yes, it's uh, it's exciting. Very yeah, very excited to to get working on that. Um, this is sort of a a fiery piece in itself, isn't it? I'm still being very loose with it uh, at this point because I'm still still sort of fleshing out my idea. Not really sure exactly how I want this to go, but um, I'm mostly looking at the uh, the navigator over there, and um, sort of just seeing how this all looks from a from a distance before I go in and refine anything. So I'm switching between my my textured brushes and my um, my uh, mixer brush, and I have those hotkeyed to um, to different things uh, to diff uh, just so I can sort of switch between them uh, quickly. Maybe we'll do something big and flowy around here. I don't know. I get lost in these clouds forever if I'm not careful. You guys have to let me know when I'm when I've been working on clouds for too long cuz the, the time just uh flies by. <laughs> Love clouds. So fun. I guess that's what these are. I'm not sure about this this whole shape back here. Maybe I'll sort of switch that up a little bit, do some loops around here. Maybe maybe these are not Maybe these are not trees, maybe these are cliffs. Or some kind of weird rock formation. They have like weird uh, lichens and stuff growing on them. Just use my Selection tool here. Start breaking it up. I don't think I do this enough in the early phases of my painting. It's really, really important um, to be able to make these clear selections. I'm just sort of being a bit random with it right now, but see what a huge difference that makes in the clarity of, of this whole piece. This is very cool. This is very, um, very explorative, very uh, adventurous. I feel like I'm, um, definitely feel like I'm some kind of, on some kind of alien planet or strange world here. Maybe we'll make some bold things happen right here. I don't know. Let's try. Mm, maybe not that. Let's try, I can do like sort of a curvy, 
curvy thing here. Let my computer catch up. It's kind of neat. Really, uh, really suffering with this one. Maybe I should drop the resolution a little bit. Well, for now, we can always bring it back up later. Let's drop this to 3000. All right, yeah, so there's a nice, um, a nice path here. It's kind of cool. Um, there's some uh, billowy cloud things happening. There's still some sort of random weird colors here, which I, I don't know. Maybe I'll just sort of uh, embrace. Um, maybe what if we had some some purples or something in here. I don't know. I don't even know where my light source is right now. I should probably figure that. I guess it's coming from the upper right. So maybe I'll sort of make that a bit, a bit more clear here. Let's use our mixer brush for that. This is a lot. I think I may have... I may be in over my head with this one. Alright, that yellow is not doing it for me. It's very um, illustration y. Alright, we need some softness to contrast the texture. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna copy and paste this. Drop the saturation just a little bit. Create a mask layer. I need to create more of a color focus here. What if I um, pushed the sky color a bit? Change the hue just slightly to be even more unexpected and out of the ordinary. Whew. I could. 
think I'm already a little, I'm, I'm already, uh, a little out of my, uh, my comfort zone here. I think I need to reel it in first. I need to figure out, uh, what it is I'm, I'm articulating here. But perhaps, perhaps I will do that. Maybe if it was dark, you know, if it was like, I don't know, we can try something quick here. So. Maybe green to complement the red, to contrast with it. That's kind of interesting. Sure, why not? Let's roll with that. <laughs> way out there with this one. It's actually kind of kind of cool with the, the clouds back here. And we could have um, we could have some oh, I like this music. This is very relevant. some sort of spacey hovering light forms here. Uh, yes, all my live streams are uh, put on my channel afterwards, so if you have to duck out, Kevin, that's totally cool. You can always catch up later on. Thank you for, uh, for joining me today. This is a good idea. This uh, this is definitely a different world, or maybe like a, a parallel parallel uh, dimension, or something like that. So we're gonna see what kind of um, what kind of strange uh, things we encounter here. Maybe maybe it is uh, inhabited. Maybe there are life forms, or maybe it's just just sort of this. Uh, Just sort of this place. I mean, it seems like there, there's, there's the possibility of plant life, at the very least. It seems like there's um, some, some vapor. So perhaps water. Here I go again with the clouds. Someone's going to have to stop me.
start thinking about these shapes and how they're all gonna work together. This cloud looks like it has an eyeball. up this space exploration music here. Oh, uh, no problem, Manish. Thank you for joining me. And I uh, hope you catch uh, one of the streams in the future. You can uh, always watch this, as I said, on my... Uh, on my channel anytime, and uh, uh, nice to uh, to be acquainted. Are they clouds or are they something else? Yeah, we don't we don't know. Some kind of some kind of nebulous thing. I mean, they're they're not totally behaving exactly like clouds would. Next thing I want to know is what is what is down here? What's our um what's gonna happen around our focal area? Maybe there's, uh, maybe there is water, or some kind of, some kind of liquid or gaseous thing coming down. Ooh, no, let's make that purple.
It's kind of interesting. Pretty, pretty wild world here. Definitely getting lost in it.
yes, definitely important to, uh, to go out of one's comfort zone. <laughs> definitely way out there right now. It's very cool, though. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's the only way you're gonna, you're gonna get to, get to those good ideas. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. It's like, I I thought about making it blue for a second, and then I was like, no, that's too, that's too normal. Uh, maybe we'll have some kind of. I want to build off of this idea of having. These big, um, sort of stone structures out here. I want to have maybe put in a, maybe I'll do this on a new layer in case I totally screw things up. Some kind of big stone thing here.
it could, I, I don't know, or even like some kind of, um, some kind of natural rock formation that's like, uh, sort of spewing out these various gases, you know, <laughs> that could be cool. I almost, I almost like the idea of this just being like, totally devoid of civilization or like, or even sentient life. I'm pretty confident with this structure here, so I'm just gonna, gonna go in there, merge it down. Let's see what happens here. Maybe there could be some other floating uh, elements around here. I think we're going to need more clouds to frame them against, though. I want there to be really high contrast here. It's only one o'clock. So much more to do here. I think we'll have something, uh, something interesting by the end of this for sure. Something complete. 
Of course, it's hard to say when a piece is ever complete. There's my phone going off as it always does. Right in the middle of my flow zone. get more defined with these, these shapes. Can even start over here. Let's just make a nice silhouette. Actually, maybe we can have it be sort of, doesn't have to be a, a pure spire there. All right, let's do that. Maybe a couple more floating around. There's so many uh, color variables to take into account here. There's the, um, whoops, the, uh, so if we imagine the native color of the vapor to be sort of a purplish, that's going to get stronger in the distance, but then um, we're also getting reflected light from the sky, which is green. And then the native color of the uh, of the rock, which is red. And then the um, the native color of the rock multiplied by the warmth of the of our main direct light source, which is orange. So I don't actually know um, what the resulting color should be here. So I'm just sort of uh, experimenting with it, messing around a bit. Hey there, boy wizard. Welcome. I think I know your actual name, but I forgot it. <laughs> I'll just call you boy wizard for now. That's cool. Oops. Question about the light source. Uh, how many suns are on this planet? Oh my god. <laughs> You're really making this difficult for me. <laughs> um, I'm going to go with a single, single light source. Um, but there could be multiple suns. I'm just going to say they're on the other side right now. Can't deal with another light source.
Matt, that's right. Awesome. Awesome. So great to hear uh, that you're enjoying the brush pack. I have to remember that. Yes, because I've seen your face quite a bit. Yeah, feel free to let me know if there's anything um, you would like to see added to that, uh, by the way, because I'm always working on um, revisions and updates. And, um, you know, happy to uh, include people's feedback in that. So much going on here. I need to figure out a way to simplify this. First of all, all this stuff needs to be addressed. Wow, competitive ballroom dancing, huh? That's pretty cool. Well, I, I wouldn't know anything about that. Whether or not there are similarities that you can uh, exploit there, but... Sure there are, there are always similarities between each art form in some way or another.
Ooh, let's bring out my uh, my brush dabs brush. I love this. It's really fun for making uh, interesting landscapes. some kind of native tree here or perhaps occasionally a, uh, a rock sticking up from the mist See, Matt is saying, I was following along with your forest study time lapse video months ago and trying out your brushes. And I end up making my version into a scene from Diablo. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. Uh, sweet. I'll check it out. That's awesome. I love, um, love Diablo. I love the, uh, the artwork from that. I, I actually, I used to play, uh, the second one quite a bit when I was younger. It's a really, Really great game. Never got quite into the third one, but love all the artwork that I've been seeing from that. Forest study time lapse. I'm trying to remember which one that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. That was. Uh, that was during one of the uh, evident challenges, I think.
this whole section. This needs to be squashed. It's just what I'm seeing up in the navigator there. Yeah, um, to your, uh, your point, Matt, I, um, I actually totally agree with that. I think that was part of what turned me off about Diablo 3 was, um, it was, yeah, it became very, very colorful and vibrant, and I really, really enjoyed the, I mean, it wasn't just the colors, but the whole tone of the game, you know, it's like, uh, Diablo 2 had this very muted and sort of, um, dry, uh, sort of gritty palette to it, and I really, yeah, I really liked that quite a bit, and I think that was lost. Um, <laughs> and, uh, let's see, uh, uh, Aj Lakula, I think I'm, uh, pronouncing that right, is asking how I became a Evident instructor. Um, Evident is the, uh, the platform I was talking about before, if you guys uh, aren't familiar with it, um, I do, uh, courses in online education for, um, for uh, artists and creatives, uh, musicians as well. So, um, yeah, I, um, I was just, I was part of the group for a while, um, the Facebook group, uh, a couple years ago, and I was just sort of regularly posting there, and, uh, I was very engaged, um, and posting new work a lot, and sort of, uh, uh, helping, I mean, not necessarily helping other people with, um, their work, but uh, I was giving giving feedback to people when requested, um, and that kind of stuff. And I ended up sort of uh, reaching out to Walid and um, just saying, "Hey, you know, if you uh, if you need any help with anything or uh, anything with the group, anytime, just you know, <laughs> let me know." I actually didn't expect him to uh, to take me up on that or to respond, but he um, he did, and he got back to me, and I started um, I started doing some. Uh, moderating for the group, and then uh, sort of my role became more um, expansive as, as time went on, and um, I did uh, did some more stuff there, and, and eventually um, became uh, more of a, uh, a, a, a more uh, established uh, member of the, the design team, and uh, helping out with uh, 
uh, giving students feedback and that kind of stuff and um, and uh, possibly uh, soon working on some uh, some courses uh, there um, if you know either there or on, on my own website um, I'm not sure uh, what direction I'm gonna take it at this point but yeah that's pretty much the story there um, it's uh, I guess the 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 point being it, um, it pays to uh, to connect with people um, uh, I'm not always and but um, you know it's it's just good to uh, to put yourself out there to keep uh, posting your work and to um, to uh, talk to people that um, that uh, might be interested in, in um, working with you. Exactly. If you don't ask, the answer is always no. That's great. Yeah. No. It's it. It never hurts to uh, to you know to reach out to someone and and uh, I mean it's uh, it's it's definitely a different world now uh, even than it was uh, ten or twenty years ago. Uh, you know when I mean now you can you could find anybody and just <laughs> say you know and send them a, a message. Just say hey you know. Um, Here's my idea, whereas before you had to kind of track them down a little bit. Um, and with that, I suppose there's the, you know, you just want to, you want to make sure you're always being respectful and um, sort of uh, following general online etiquette, you know, um, and uh, and presenting yourself as a professional. You know, I've, I've reached out to um, artists before that are like, you know, big names before and just not gotten a response. and you know that's it's probably gonna happen more often than not and that's that's um fine with me uh i just it just kind of means that i'm just not at a point where i'm really on their radar at this point and um so i'll just you know return to what i'm doing and try to focus on um on uh you know uh what, what i'm working on and how i can i can present my value and sort of um become more established But yeah, you don't want to be uh, you don't want to be spamming anybody's uh, <laughs> inbox. Ooh, I like that. Uh, I like this purple edition that I just threw in here. It's very. I think that helps tie everything together quite a bit. Let's go back to our uh, brush dab here. Just want to sort of poke in some some landscape features down here. I should probably um, do something about this foreground, considering it's like half of my painting. But uh, you know. What if it wasn't though? Let's try something here. Gotta make the sound effects. It's key. I like that better. What do you think? Hmm. Let's try that again. Maybe, um, I think I just threw off my, um, I could also just crop this. I don't really need the bottom half of this. Just 
clear that ratio. I think that's kind of like that more. More of a one by two orientation. Yeah, um, I, uh, right, uh, if you want to know a bit more about my background, um, I could tell you a little bit. I also, I talked about it quite a bit in the last stream. Um, you can also sign up uh, for my email list on my website. I definitely have a, I have a running uh, story uh, on there about sort of my development as an artist and where I came from and all that. Um, but um, yeah, I do have uh, more of a traditional painting background. I actually didn't get into digital art until um, 2017. Uh, is that right? Yeah, it was that summer. And, and then I didn't really seriously start. Yeah, it's pretty much the end of that year. Um, so I haven't been doing the digital stuff for, for that long. Um, I used to do a lot of uh, oil painting and uh, I actually was just drawing for most of my life. Um, I would just do graphite and charcoal sketches. I didn't pick up painting till I was um, a teenager. Um, and then in college, uh, I developed that a little bit more. Um, I didn't go to a uh, an art school, but I did um, I did major in art uh, art and philosophy actually, and um, yeah I <laughs> uh, I don't know honestly I I probably wouldn't have done that um, uh, I probably wouldn't have gone to college at all truthfully if if I were um, if I knew what I knew now, but, uh, you know, here we are. I'm, I'm grateful that I, I was, I had the opportunity to follow that path. Um, it's just, uh, I don't think it was really necessary for, for what I want to, uh, what I know I want to do now, um, which I wasn't so sure of at the time, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I try to, um, I try to bring, uh, the traditional painting style uh, into digital painting and and a lot of the things I I create the tutorials uh, the brush pack they're all sort of um, all sort of geared towards um, making that uh, that crossover I mean I if you're um, already a digital artist I have a lot of stuff for that as well but you know a lot of this stuff is um, targeted towards people that um, you know, just sort of want to simplify their their approach and keep it more in line with the traditional style, and so that's um, that's that's sort of what I'm going for here. I mean, you know, like even these brushes I'm using now. I mean, even uh, it's really quite amazing. You know, when you take some some time to refine your tools how close you can get to that sort of uh, traditional um, that traditional painterly style, you know. You don't see a lot of artists uh, doing live stream on YouTube, a lot of them on Twitch. Yeah, I've heard about uh, Twitch um, I haven't really explored it myself. Uh, it sounds like that might be the new thing. I guess I always just assumed it was for, um, you know, gamers and that kind of stuff. But I think, I guess, increasingly it's more for um, for other, uh, other mediums as well. And for artwork and stuff. I know, I think Ergo Josh does a, a Twitch thing. Um, Aaron Blaze is still on YouTube. He does live streams pretty frequently. You should check those out. Um, I tune into those uh, every now and then. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe uh, maybe YouTube is old news. Uh, <laughs> I guess we'll see. Um, it's uh, you know, 
I just uh, I want to find a way to get to get this stuff out to people in whatever way that works best for them. So we'll see how things develop. And uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, the as far as um, you know, transitioning to digital art, if you already have a painting experience, or, or even if you don't, it doesn't have to be too complicated. And actually, um, that's that's what I cover in one of the uh, the videos I just released on my channel uh, about um, transitioning from digital to or from traditional to digital painting. Is like you don't need to know all of the tools available to you and in fact it's it's almost better for you uh to 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 avoid um going too crazy with all that you know i really um I, I keep my process really simple i only use you know a handful of tools here and i just have figured out a way to use them uh in a way that works for me um but uh you know you don't have to um you don't have to learn all of those, all of the advanced Photoshop techniques uh, to to sort of um, to get into this. Of course, if you really want to, you can. You know, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do with uh, photo bashing and uh, using shapes and uh, using different textures and uh, photo tricks, um, but um to you know if you if you if you know how to uh how to paint uh you can just do that you know you don't have to to make it more complicated than that which is pretty much what i'm doing here and occasionally i'll do something like you know warp the whole thing or crop it or you know there i do use a lot of digital strategies but i'm also i'm still only working on one layer here and uh that's not too common among digital artists i think um some of them will like create a new like this whole stream of new layers every time they um every time they they move forward in their painting and uh i don't i don't know it's a particular strategy uh, i guess it's it's almost like you're constantly making a backup of of what you're doing but um yeah i've i've never uh uh really uh, wanted to to work in that way All right, so I've got like I'm gonna try to wrap this up in the next 20 minutes. So let's let's go to this foreground here and uh, see if we can't um, can't shape it up a little bit. The uh, new, I haven't seen the newest uh, Ergo video. I think I saw that uh, popped up, but. Uh, yeah, he's uh, <laughs> he's he's good about uh, about uh, use, getting some shocking uh, content here and there. Um, really great stuff, though. I love his channel, and yeah, Aaron Blaze is awesome too. Um, it's definitely it's not quite the uh, the style that I I go for, um, but he's got a lot of really useful uh, general art uh, advice and and techniques and information on uh, just painting generally. Um, I've I've downloaded quite a few of his courses in fact I, there are some that I've just been meaning to, to find the time to get into but um, yeah he's great <laughs> thank you uh, Sahiro I appreciate that um, yeah, uh, as far as, uh, brushes, that's a, that's like a, I feel like that's a big thing a lot of, um, a lot of beginners kind of miss, is, uh, they put a lot of emphasis on the brushes people are using, because they'll see, they'll see someone using a brush in a particular way, and they'll be like, oh, well, it's obviously the, the brush that's making the difference there, um, and it's, it's all about, the relationship between yourself and the brush it's not the brush itself you know no no singular brush is going to make your artwork better um it's just all about how you use it and um yeah i agree for me like keeping it to just a small handful i mean in a single piece 
for for eighty percent of it, I'll probably use you know between um, you know three and four brushes maybe, and then I'll bring in a handful of others, you know, up to ten, just for various uh, specific uh, tasks that I need done here and there. But um, my brush pack here is uh, twenty. It's uh, twenty eight. I think it may be thirty now. It's um, I'm trying not to, to grow it too much, but I am always uh, refining these brushes and trying to improve them. And I mostly use this group here. Uh, there are a lot of other fun ones that are more for like specialty applications here as well, but I wouldn't use them for for my uh, main painting so much. Um, I mostly just use uh, these ones, this, the, th the thin and thick brushes, and then they, I have a, uh, a mixer brush for each, each of them. Uh, so yeah, a lot of, uh, it's, um, it's not, uh, too, that's, that's why with this pack, I've really focused on like refining my existing, uh, set of tools rather than trying to create like a whole, um, uh, complex set, you know? Um, so, so that's just how I prefer to work. Should we have an astronaut here? I don't know. I'm not gonna put, I, it's too late. I'm not gonna try to put a character in here, but um, maybe uh, maybe some other time. I will, however, maybe let's, let's bring out one of those specialty uh, brushes here. Let's try this, um, this rock drop. This one's pretty fun. This is just a, a rainbow of a painting here. There's, uh, I don't even know if there's one single color scheme. I guess it's a uh, kind of complementary, but. Actually, take this and sort of uh, warp it a little bit, give it a bit more perspective. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe not. This. I think I just made this whole area far too complex. So we're just gonna dial this back a bit skip that song too I know that's my uh, that's the triumphant uh, end of the movie soundtrack that I always <laughs> get overwhelmed by Krita um I don't know. Actually, I know it's compatible with uh, Clip Studio uh, now, and um, I'm working on a uh, Procreate version at the moment, um, but uh, I'm not not totally sure about Krita. Uh, so you're welcome to to uh, to try it and uh, let me know. Um, I've never uh, used the program myself.
Alright, let's try to make some solid uh, solid plane changes here. music. Let's crank this. Oh, uh, my next stream is um, uh, every Sunday. Every Sunday at the same time, 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I do this. Um, there are uh, quite a quite a few of them. At this, this is uh, 25 at this point, and they're all available on my YouTube channel. You can check them out at any time if uh, for some reason you can't uh, make the stream itself. So uh, yeah, feel free to, to come back around then and uh, ask any questions or, or make any requests. Um, if you have any requests for what you want to see in a, uh, in a stream, I'm always happy to, uh, to take those. I've done quite a few just based on um, requests that people have put in during uh, previous streams. So sometimes they get a little wild. I did one where I did like this... Um, I had people uh, throw a bunch of ideas out, and then um, I did like this wheel, and I spun the wheel, and I picked uh, picked one idea uh, that I did for the stream, and then uh, I ended up just sort of combining some of those ideas too into something. That was the uh, the magma, the lava monster versus the uh, the dragon uh, scene. Um, so last month sometime Probably uh, take this whole section and reduce the. Uh... the brightness a bit. Come on, Photoshop. Work with me here. It's not letting me move the canvas. Alright, another strategy. No! <laughs> God damn it. Alright. Let's try this again. Ugh. Sometimes this tool can be a real pain. I think there's a there might be an option to to change double click from uh, from completing the selection. I'll have to look into that. All right, drop these highlights. Yeah, that's better. Let's reverse that. Let's do some fun. Uh, Lighting stuff. Set this to linear dodge. Whoa, 
easy. do it but let's see does that improve things for us at all I don't know maybe um, maybe what I'll do instead, I'll go back to that selection, and let's make a levels adjustment. Really bring it up. Maybe saturation as well, why not? this really pop sort of lose some of these edges around the sides because they're not important Around 10 p.m. for you, yeah. <laughs> I know it's hard to find a good time because there I have a lot of uh, people from from different parts of the world. Um, this is uh, unfortunately the I think the about the best I can do as far as getting um, the most different time zones in here. But um, yeah, if you're uh, if you can. If you can stay up late to join, that's awesome. But you know, of course, if not, like I said, you're welcome to just uh, check out the uh, the um, uh, the uh, replay. things here. Maybe not quite that much. Oh, and uh, I think I wanted to do some little... Some like stars or something. Or some little planetary bodies in here. So I'm just gonna make that selection. Let's bring out our uh, light spatter brush here. Huh. 
It's kind of cool. Maybe it's a, a bit much. Maybe we can just go in and sort of dial that down here and there. Maybe do a few... Uh, brighter ones here interesting <gasps> all right well probably enough for today um, but uh, you know this is pretty cool I'd say it's close to uh, something that's uh, at least partially finished <laughs> but uh, you know I think I've developed the idea pretty well here and uh, it's definitely a far uh, throw from from where I started and uh, definitely a, um, a, a an explorative idea uh, it's not something I I would have uh, really con seen myself doing, but it's very it's very cool. And thank you uh, to those of you who had uh, input today and sort of gave me uh, some ideas as to how to uh, push this even further. Um, and uh, yeah, so thank you all for for joining this uh, stream. Let me just I, I can probably just blow this up for you guys a little bit. There you go. Maybe we'll check our levels real quick. Oh, we're not even utilizing our, our darkest values. Let's let's get those in there. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah. Thanks for um, for joining me today, and uh, thanks to see uh, some or it's it's good to see some new faces in here. Uh, Sahiro and uh, uh, Ajla, Ajla Kula and. Uh, Good to see uh, Matt coming in here again, and uh, Inez, and uh, and Jose. Uh, it's always great to see you guys. Uh, I'll be doing this again next week, and keep an eye out this week. I'll be releasing a new video on Wednesday. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, don't forget to um, subscribe to the channel, and uh, feel free to subscribe to the email list as well for more uh, updates on, on the stuff I'm doing. All right, uh, I will catch you all next time.